Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to show you the top 10 mods that you want to try right now inside of this video. I'm going to go ahead and go to the main menu in order to show you them. But these mods are anything from quality of life all the way up to like complete kind of game ish overhauls and just fun mods to play. So I'm going to talk about each one of them and I'll show you where to find them and what they do. Now, before we get there, if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel. I am literally within 100 ish of getting to 100K, which is crazy. So I'm super excited about that. So anyways, the number one mod that you have to try is actually on this page right here. So inside of Ark, if you haven't played this yet, Shiny Dinos Ascended is my favorite mod in Ark Survival Evolved, and it is transferred over into Ark Survival Ascended. Now, the reason it's so nice is because it doesn't do anything game breaking. It essentially gives them tech level boost. So they get a plus 30 levels if you're playing with 150 as your max, and they get special abilities like some of them are iced over that cannot be transferred. That's the key word. So it's not broken even for like PVP servers where you can kind of just have these and they have small boosts. So you can read through the entire thing, but that they have some really neat things. They've got some like uh, little particle effects that go around them. They get the special colors. They can sometimes be burning and have special abilities, but they cannot pass that down in generations. So it's probably one of my favorite mods. Plus it's a cool little thing where you have to go to areas and tame dinos that you wouldn't normally tame. And I really like that in general. You can see, right here that they have 40 unique distinct color sets which is huge and it's a mod that has a big history so definitely check out shiny ascended now the next on the list i don't know if you've heard about it yet but if you haven't you're crazy i don't i mean that's not entirely true if you haven't you probably have lived under a rock sparto five if you didn't play sparto five and arc survival evolved this is one of the best mop mod maps that you can play no flyers is one of my favorite styles to any game Plus, the guy that makes it Neketus is a fantastic modder. He actually does a whole bunch of really awesome stuff. And uh, this game in general, like the, the modding is it's, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do. And a lot of his maps have just been updated and he never releases things unless they're good enough. Now, some people will release their mod maps too early, but he always releases them after they're completed enough to a point where you're not going to have major issues. And when he does, he always fixes it really quickly. So Svartalfheim is a mod map that you need to try. This is the PC only version. However, there is also a console version as well. You should 100% check it out. Now, number three on my list is actually a collection that I have done stuff about before, but it has not changed because these maps, I mean, these mods in general are just fantastic, right? So Gaia. Now Gaia, if you haven't played it in the original Ark Survival Evolved, it is one of the most fun mod packs in general. Once he actually starts releasing the whole Gaia mod, the different nine realms, oh my goodness, you guys are gonna be so stoked to play that. But right now, this is what he's got out there. You can see there's a whole bunch of downloads. There's a whole bunch of valuable things. He has a total of 10, there's collectors, no fall damage, admin commands, glider, spawn shield, crop plot, grapple, starter pack, fishery, storage, elixirs, and caves, teleporter. I use the caves teleporter all the time. And the Elixirs is actually one of the most popular Ark mods right now because it's got a bunch of really cool things that are really useful. A little too broken to use in a PvP game, but a lot of fun. Now, that kind of counts as my third overall mod that I enjoy. There's a whole bunch of them in there, obviously, so, you know, it's, it's just a good one. But anyways, next up on our list, I've done reviews on this one before, but the Imbue and Upgrade Station, it continues to get better. They've kind of made some adjustments to it. And what does it allow you to do, right? So basically it's a mod and I'm sorry, I won't zoom in for you, but basically it allows you to upgrade and add statistics to your armor pieces, which is super cool. So if you have a primitive piece of armor, you can upgrade it finally to the highest level of ascendant. It's going to be expensive. Yes. But once you get to that point, you can also actually add imbues to it, right? Now imbues in this game essentially mean that if you have a stat bonus of like plus 20% health on one of your pieces of armor and plus 10% speed or plus 10% food, it's going to give you bonus statistics if you're wearing that armor, which is a super cool concept and it never really existed inside of Ark Survival Evolved. However, in Ascended, this is a super cool mod. I really like it. It's a lot of fun, can be a little broken for PvP, but it's still very fun to play with. Now, next up on our list is one that has literally been tested. This one, 
So many people have downloaded this that it's almost funny. Um, automated Arc, 2.9 million downloads, which means that almost everyone that has played this game has downloaded this mod. It basically gives you the lovely ability to play the game how you want to play it with a whole bunch of unique features, including specialized faults, specialized transferring ways, um, all kinds of healing station, everything that you can think of to make your game like the little mundane bullcrap tasks makes it easier, a lot easier. Now, you can see that there's a whole list and swath of things that this guy has released. It's a ton of fun and it runs pretty well on most servers. Uh, you can see that he's got mod version 74 and it was last updated a few days ago, but it is a very good overall mod and it allows you to automate a lot of the frustrating tasks like transferring things to certain areas. You can just drop stuff on the ground that'll pick it up automatically. It's a great mod to use, so definitely check it out. Now, next on my list, I don't know how this one has fallen so far down. QOL Plus, this is essentially a mod that represents Structures Plus port over. Now, what does that mean, right? If you've never played Structures Plus, basically, you've got a massive amount of stuff that is incredibly useful. You get additions of things like nannies. You get a full pulling scheme so you can take resources from one side, choose what you want, and then put it into a location wherever you want to. So you can essentially, instead of just using dedicated storage, you can use everything from ARC in order to actually transfer stuff to certain locations wherever you want. Plus, you've got a nanny that'll raise your dinos for you from baby stage. You've got special troughs that'll actually allow you to put food in areas. You've got special, I mean, uh, pickup things. Basically, it, it automates a whole bunch of stuff. Plus, added in a few structures without kind of like breaking the game. It just does the basic level stuff like egg pickup, all that sort of stuff is done by this QOL mod. It's a ton of fun. You should check it out. I don't know why this one is less popular than the other QOL mod, but this one's really, really great. So next on our list, Utilities Plus. Now I know I've done this one before, but Utilities Plus is one of the coolest mods that you can have in the game. It's not gonna show me the picture, unfortunately, but basically what it adds is reusable options. So reusable bolas, flare guns, grappling hooks, parachutes, spears, binoculars, and a torch which means that you're going to be able to add access to a whole bunch of really awesome things inside of Arc that don't break quickly. It's super frustrating when I think about throwing Ebola and then I just gone, right? This one lets you just basically get it right back. And same thing with the spear. So you can throw the spear, get a new one, throw the spear, get a new one. It doesn't just break and gets super frustrating. It adds, It's a little bit broken sometimes for PvP use, but it's a generic fun mod that means that you don't have to do some of the random grinding shenanigans like 20,000 parachutes and whips and all that kind of stuff. Having all of that is super useful to have access to. Now, the next one is kind of a game overhaul. Now, this one is one of my favorite mods right now. So Draconic Chronicles, if you haven't played it, it basically adds wyverns and specialized dragons in order to kind of play and add into the island. Now, just so you can see that right now, he's got a whole bunch of different types of dragons and also some special functions. He's got fire wyverns, lightning wyverns, poison wyverns, polar dragons, super cool, by the way, um, and crystal wyverns, inferno wyvern, and then a rejuvenating dragon. Basically, you can see it's a friendly dragon that's going to give you some heals over time. It's a whole new mod set that adds in brand new creatures with new, uh, literally everything. And it's just an awesome overall mod. It adds in a whole bunch of unique features too, like the obsidian fridge, which can store milk, which is awesome. Um, I guess that's next to the milk fridge. Uh, the cauldrons so you can make essence incubator which is basically the 10 air, uh, 10 air conditioners so you can have less stuff it's a really awesome mod it adds in a whole bunch of neat features more of a pve friendly mod because it's got some specialized uh stuff in there that can be a little bit broken for pvp but it's a lot of fun in general now another one of those mods that adds a bunch to your game dino discovery uh discov i'm just gonna type it in like that so if you haven't played the Dino Discovery mod, where is it? Why didn't it show up on this page? Excuse me. I, did I spell it wrong? Discovery? Okay. Well, that's interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and go to installed mods because I know it's in my installed mods list. Um, but if I go to D Dino Discovery mod, Dino Discovery mod is essentially a mod. There it is, or Dinosaur Discovery. That's what it is. Um, this mod is amazing. It adds in a whole bunch of unique features and creatures. You can see it, Basilisk, Carcanos, Ravager, Griffin, Snow Owl, Ice Bullet, 
just a list of stuff that is super useful to have and they all spawn naturally randomly around the island making it a very useful mod to have access to plus some features like cliff platforms indie forges uh, that's a mini mini size ocean metal platforms mini vaults ammo boxes oil pumps it adds in a whole bunch of useful stuff and you can see their stuff that they i mean they've also got chainsaws whips tech swords tech canteens and then they're adding wyverns magma swords and some other stuff in the future so this is an awesome mod that adds a ton of content and get dinos that normally don't exist on the island that makes it such a because the island is in my opinion the worst map in all of arc and unfortunately we're stuck with it until like march so the more you can add stuff to it the better off we are as just enjoying ourselves in general so that's a lot of fun and it actually brings us perfectly into number 10 because of the concept of arc needing new creatures and stuff like that this is kind of ported over from the mobile device uh, era which is kind of weird to think of it that way but they added in eerie dinos so eerie dinos are essentially a dino that is 125 percent stats so basically 25 percent boosted stats compared to their vanilla counterparts they are kind of rainbow colors and you can see that right there there's a normal one compared to the uh, the eerie style of it and the super cool version of this is that you're actually able to if you have something stupid happen or you get arced or something along those lines it gives you the ability to actually go back and respawn that dino and uh, you can see it right here where is it they drop the creature implant and you can bring your dino back which is a super useful thing once you have that ability because the number of times i've been arced by some random shenanigans and then not been able to bring a dino back is sad so having that ability is super nice obviously a little bit broken for pvp but still a really cool concept in general so yeah so anyways, that is all of the mods that I was going to talk about. So technically I gave you more than 10, but you know, these are the ones that are really strong right now. They are very stable. They are a lot of fun to play and they are very good to kind of add to your game, especially if you want to play some solo or unofficial settings. So hopefully this video helps you out. And if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach.